All right, welcome back to the channel. Jason here. Today is Sunday, May the 10th. Happy Mother's Day to all you moms out there. Happy Mother's Day to my mom. I love you, mom. And we're going to go to the Goodwill today. Uh, looks like there might be a fair amount of people in there. I was a little surprised. I figured there may not be that many. Um, I think the way I'll do this video is I'll go in, maybe get you a little bit of in-store coverage. But when I get home, we'll kind of do the garage um, haul where I kind of go over everything in detail. So be sure to hang around for that. So let's get into this Goodwill, see what we can find. Thank you. All right, guys, I am back home. I changed clothes. Whenever I get home from the Goodwill or being out in public these days, I like to just change clothes just to be safe. Uh, got a little food in the belly. Now, it's time to look at the awesome things I found at Goodwill today. Y'all ready to see how much junk I got in my trunk? Say what y'all look at this. All right. First thing I got is this Dave Ramsey uh, University uh, five disc set. Dave Ramsey stuff typically sells pretty good. Got this for $349. This sells anywhere between like $50 to $70 used. So bolo out on there for sure. All right, next up, here is something I had never heard of before. Um, I don't even know why I looked it up, but I just did. <laughs> this is called Williams. What is it? Williams Bounds. Uh, this was given to a doctor for their, uh, I guess, for their wedding or something, and they donated it to the Goodwill. So I guess it wasn't good enough for them. But what they are is their little salt and pepper shakers. They're both brand new. Both of them are in here. Here's the other one. Um, I'll throw a comp up on the screen, but I was shocked when I looked these up. Somebody was asking, I think close to $80 or $100 for it, and they took a best offer. I don't know what they took, but I paid $3.99, so this is going to be a really good sell here. So, uh, again, you know, there's your, there's your manufacturer. Definitely be on the lookout for their stuff. Air filters. Air, filter, air filters can be worth a ton. Um, these I actually just got for myself, although I'm contemplating selling them. Um, these are DuPonts. There's only three of them in here. I paid $3.99. Looks like these things sell for like 50 or 60 bucks on eBay. So, oh, I'm sorry, there's four of them in here. So, but these fit my air conditioner. I always love to pick up stuff at the Goodwill that I can use myself and save myself money. Because if I had to go pay 40 or 50 for these, I'm not real happy. Instead, I got them for four bucks. Um, this is a tough one because I could sell these for you know fifty or sixty dollars, but I'll probably end up keeping them. And these things are kind of tough to ship. You got to find a box big enough because you you got to ship these in a box to uh, you know keep the integrity of them intact. So, but anyway, don't don't go go past your uh, air filters. There can be some good money in those. All right, here is a brand that I found a few times and I've sold several times. Uh, this is Howard Miller. Uh, this is like a mantle clock. I paid. $7.99 for this. Uh, it looks like I can get 40 plus shipping uh, for this clock. Now I do need to test it out. The batteries that are in here are either dead or the clock doesn't work. I uh, really hope it works. Hopefully I'll be able to put an update across the screen. But this, this is one of those items where I'll set it in my house for decoration. And then when I sell it, I'll go grab it and wrap it up. But I'll probably ask top dollar for it since I really do like it. All right, here's another item that I got to test a little more. Uh, this isn't under the cabinet radio. This is a Sony. Um, again, if you've never seen my channel before, under the cabinet radio is going to sell really, really well. This one has all the screws. Uh, it's actually got, there they are, it's got the little plastic things that go in. It's got everything that you need to mount it under the cabinet. Uh, it is a, let's see, the model number is ICF-CDK50. It says it's an AM, FM, CD clock radio. So this, I believe I can get upwards of $70.00. Uh, for this and I paid I believe it was $4.99 yep $4.99 all right nothing exciting about these um, I saw them they're brand new sealed in the package anytime you see something brand new sealed especially have them bundled together just look them up all these are are wooden stirs for your coffee what I don't know what I just did right there the stirs for your coffee 
Um, I got these two for $2.99 and I got two more for $1.99. So I'm in on both for total for five. I'm gonna put all of them together. They're a thousand count for each box, so that'll be 5,000 stirs. And I'm gonna ask probably around 30 bucks for them. All right, next up is this lawnmower blade. Um, lawnmower blades can be worth some really good money. This one's okay. It's not like anything to jump up and down too much about. I paid $4 for it. It's made by Arnold. Uh, you know, summer's around the corner. People are gonna be buying these things left and right. Uh, looks like I can get close to 20 for this. All right, next up, I got this FootJoy Golf Polo. Uh, this is brand new with tags. This would have been a huge, huge find. Um, I only paid $3.99 for it. And while it's really nice, it's navy blue. A lot of people like black and navy blue for shirts because it makes them look a little bit slimmer. Matter of fact, I might need to keep this one for myself because I've definitely put on a couple pounds of quarantine. Yeah, my dad was an athlete, but now he's um, pretty fat. Um, <laughs> But this is brand new with the tags, but what takes away from this one is somebody put, where'd it go? Somebody put a logo on the sleeve. Uh, Emory Eagles. I think Emory is a college though. I'll have to look it up. Most of the time on these golf polo shirts, um, so first of all, FootJoy is an ex excellent brand. I, I think the market has got a little saturated with it, but if you can find it new with tags, grab it. Um, I still think I can get 30 for this, maybe a little more and I'm only in it for four bucks. But typically they'll put a golf course on here and they'll put it on the sleeve or on the, on the chest of it and that does take away from the value. There are a few golf courses that will raise the value. Your popular ones like Augusta where the Masters is played and things like that. But for the most part, people don't want logos on them. So maybe could have gotten 50 or more for this shirt if there was no logo, but with there being a logo, I might only be able to get 30, but we'll see. All right, baseball bats. Um, the next one is unbelievable, so hold tight. This one's good too, but the next one is, is crazy good. Um, this one is used, as you can see, it's got all kind of marks all over it. A lot of that will come out with just some uh, a magic eraser. Uh, this I paid $3.99 for. Your model number is right here. I don't know if you can see that on there. That is how you look it up. But what you want to do with baseball bats is you want to run your hand across it like this, across the whole barrel. And you want to make sure that there's no flat spots in it. That's what you look for. Because if there's any flat spots in it, basically the bat is no good. This one has no flat spots in it. It's perfect. Well, not perfect, but it'll uh, it'll definitely sell. I think I can get 40 to 50 for this. Maybe a little bit uh, less. There are some scrapes on here that I know I won't be able to get out. But for the most part, I should be able to get most of this out. So here is the home run. Literally home run. When I pick this up, in the thrift store, I almost didn't grab it because look at the shape. I mean, it just looks kind of beat up. But again, a lot of this will come out with Magic Eraser. But when I look the comps up for a used bat, for this one used in the Goodwill, I literally flittered my britches. <laughs> okay, I didn't flitter my britches, but this is a Easton Ghost and I'll pop it up in the corner. The model number on this one I don't think you're going to be able to see it. Yeah, it's really even hard for me to see up close. But the model numbers are always right here. That's where you can find all your information about the bats. Um, there's a lot of them will come with a uh, sticker that shows that it is an authentic bat. That's good because you can actually call East and give them that number and they'll verify that that is a legitimate bat. How much y'all think this bat goes for used, even in this kind of condition? And I'll clean it up a little bit. Over a hundred dollars. That is unbelievable. Most people are just going to walk by this because it looks like crap. They left $100 laying behind. And again, I checked it. There are no flat spots in the bat. It's perfectly fine. So, all right, I'm over here knocking home run. Here's the 0-1. Stanton drives it. Left field and deep. Get out of here. What are y'all doing? <laughs> all right, so that's going to do it for this video. Hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope y'all are out there racking up too. And if your Goodwills hadn't opened up yet, hopefully they will be soon. Uh, please go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell. Also like and comment on the video. Uh, again, I hope y'all enjoyed everything and you're having a great week out there. Good luck out there reselling.